so dear all hope you are fine good today's topic is uh, for see a final is uh, removal of directors this video has been broadcasted due to the request from few students for this particular topic and they had requested me to support with few case laws also so i am doing it so here we go so today's topic uh, for directors chapter uh, one of the very important area practical question area is section 169 which speaks about removal of directors we have to study main three hours in ca final topic for directors you all know that that is one is retirement then one is resignation and third one is removal retirement resignation removal this uh, removal is one of the main area where you can uh, be expected practical questions especially case study so here we will we'll be dealing with <coughs> the topic of course official disclaimer there what is removal a director can be removed from the board who is a director section 2 clause 34 defines a director who is the member of the board a member of the board is the director and he can be removed uh, by act of party not by act of only he has been removed by act of party who is that party nothing but the shareholders you all know that shareholders basically appoint directors to manage the affairs of the company so the right to removal is given to the shareholders shareholders are the ultimate authority to remove directors from the board you all know so what is removal removal means removing a director from the board from the capacity of a director of the board what is the legal position law is explained here a company may by ordinary resolution remove a shareholder so what is the requirement a requirement is an ordinary resolution what do you mean by the term company here the term company here means the shareholder so shareholders of a company can remove directors by passing an ordinary resolution at a general meeting but the exemption that is very important not being a director because there are two categories of directors which we can't remove who are the two categories of directors which cannot be removed by the shareholders appointed by the tribunal directors appointed by the national company law tribunal under section 242 you know it's section 242 242 comes under the chapter oppression and mismanagement so those directors appointed by the national company law tribunal cannot be removed by shareholders by passing a resolution so that protection is given under section 242 and the second category the section uh, 169 says that this section is not applicable when the company has adopted appointing a director by way of proportional representation proportional representation directorship is dealt in section 163 so there are two categories of directors which cannot be removed by the shareholders what are the two categories of directors directors appointed by the national company law tribunal under section 242 and when the company has appointed directors by way of proportional representation under section 163 so except these two directors any director can be removed by the company that is by the shareholders by passing an ordinary resolution so that is the law now i am explaining a little bit more this is very very important this page basically usually you know faculties uh, don't go into the details of uh, this section so that is why this this video is a little bit detailed uh, you must know what are the requirements of invoking section 169 you must understand one thing section 169 deals with removal but this removal will be effective only if the company follows the requirements which is stated in the section it is not stated as a list for teaching purpose i had made it as a list so what is the requirements basically one the resolution should be passed in an AGM or EGM and that resolution type is ordinary resolution I told you already in the previous slide it is ordinary resolution no special resolution is required ordinary resolution is required first um, point number one a general meeting is required in which an ordinary resolution will be passed second requirement is that meeting is called that means that item is put in the agenda by way of a special notice that means the company has issued a special notice you know uh, to the directors regarding the removal of the particular director so the third condition is notice shall be given to the concerned director so that is why it is called as a special notice i repeat again requirement number one there should be a general meeting requirement number two the resolution should be ordinary resolution requirement number three that meeting should be conducted by giving a special notice to the director concerned which whom you are going to remove and very important is 
the director must be given an opportunity to be heard by, for passing the resolution he has to be given an advance notice stating that the, he is going to be proposed to be removed from the uh, board so what is his representation what 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 is he he want to say about that director can give a representation writing that is important a copy of the representation shall be sent to every member before the meeting the representation in writing given by the proposed removing director about to be removed director should be given to all the shareholders and if it is not possible if it is not possible you can read that see if not it should be read at the meeting so there is two options either one you can give i'll repeat again simply you must give a special notice to director he will give a representation about what he want to say that is called representation the representation should be sent in advance to all the shareholders before the meeting it is impractical if it is impractical take the representation and that representation should be read out at the meeting you have to read that representation the meeting there are two options i repeat again either you have to send the representation early to all the shareholders otherwise you can read that at the meeting after hearing that representation only you have to put the resolution for voting and that resolution be passed by of an ordinary resolution so this slide is very important basically students only know about removing means the shareholders have the ultimate right to remove but not that condition the section is very specific and gives remedies gives very specific instructions i will list out the instructions once again general meeting is required a special notice to be given the director has to be given a special notice the director has the right to be heard the writer the director has the right to give a representation writing the representation is to be given to all the members if it cannot be given by to the members before the meeting then at least that should be read out in the meeting one exemption here is you need not want to consider any defamatory matters which is in the representation for example if the representative speaks about some defamatory matters that need not be read out or it can be ignored after that representation only after reading that representation or after considering the representation of that concerned directly the resolution is be put for vote and that resolution be passed by way of an ordinary resolution so i repeat again this slide is very important regarding the procedures now a little bit uh, more into the details of the section what will happen to the vacancy now the question is once you remove a director there is a vacancy you know Uh, basically it's a cash vacancy how it is to be filled whether it should be filled etc the law says like this be filled by the appointment of another director in his place at that meeting do you know there is a general meeting in which you have removed a director for example mr x has been removed in that meeting itself you can if you wanted appoint mr y in place of mr x else if it is not so then keep it there that will become a casual vacancy and will be dealt with as per the provisions of company said you know under section 161 you can fill casual vacancy so i'll repeat again either you can refill that vacancy at that general meeting itself or keep it there left it there that will be treated as a casual vacancy casual vacancy director you know the if it is been refilled the refilled director's tenure will be based on the balance periods of the predecessor you all know that and this is very important usually students left uh, leave this point this is very important a director who was removed from the office shall not be reappointed by the director by the board of directors if for example if def has mr x has been removed from by the board that x cannot be reappointed by the board by way of a casual vacancy so this slide speaks about refilling of the vacancy it's simple either you fill it at that general meeting or it keep it to be a casual vacancy let the board a uh, refill the same but important thing is the removed director cannot be reappointed so now as requested by uh, you know many students uh, i am just going into little bit details by way of some case laws so removal is over very simple provision but only thing is the points which i discussed should be kept in mind there is some details there uh, usually students don't go into the details of this session but there are details especially with regard to the steps to be followed i told you that which is a slide this is slide like Hmm. This slide, this slide I told you, you know, this is important. Don't forget this slide. Now coming back to, we'll start with some few case laws, a snapshot of few case laws. I will discuss few case laws for the purpose of answering, you know, case study methods. Point number one, first case law. Even permanent director can be removed. Usually a doubt is arised under section one sixty nine whether a permanent director, that means who is a permanent director in the articles of association, a particular X or Y is stated as a permanent director. can he be removed yes the shareholders have the right to remove even directors who are called as permanent director 
even though he stated a supplement that in the articles that can also be removed the case law you have to study this case law tharlok chandana versus rajkumar kapoor 1983 54 company cases 12 delhi high court second case law which i am going to discuss is about process i told you know there is a list of process general meeting order resolution special notice representation representation be read out these process you can't blanketly remove a director you can remove the directors only by following the procedure stated under section 169 so that uh, fact is been stated in the case hsbc private equity india fund versus sri rama multi tax limited few more case laws whether the civil court have the right to entertain petition for removal of directors the answer is no it is not they don't have power honorable court have power but what is the law the remedy for removing a director is already specifically explicitly stated in the company act so you can take that remedy so since the there the remedy to remove the director is already stated in the company act civil court will not entertain petition for removal of director so that's a very important case law ketan industries private limited versus manju ravindra prasad ketan in short form mrp ketan 1995 16 corporate law advisor 169 bombay high court shareholders shall not restrain from conducting general meeting usually trend is when you know shareholders call uh, need an egm uh, to remove a director usually the board will not cooperate so that is why the law says if the board does not cooperate you know that there is a concept called general meeting by of requisition so that is why this case law if the shareholders want to have a general meeting for new directors we should not restrain them we should not restrain them that case law lic versus s courts limited this is a honorable supreme court judgment on more list of case laws and uh, here is very important is the company must give an opportunity for that i told earlier you know giving represent opportunity to give representation is mandatory you can't remove a director blanketly saying that go out from the board passing a simple resolution no you have to give an opportunity of being heard and the director must be given an opportunity to give a representation if he says that i don't have any representation that's okay otherwise it is very important you must mind that you know the company before removing a director must give a right to give a representation by the director Repre- because the director should given an opportunity to say what he have to say to that about the removal so that is a statute right of a director that is very 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 important don't forget about this the director should be given an opportunity to give representation escorts limited versus union of india 1985 57 company cases 241 bombay high court if no opportunity for making a representation is given to the director then the resolution passed by the shareholders have no effect i told you if you are not giving a right to give his representation his views his or his opportunity to be, to speak then the resolution passed by the shareholders will become invalid so don't forget that that means giving representation is giving opportunity to director to given representation is mandatory what is representation opportunity to to say about his view what what is his view about what he want to say about this proposed removal so again the case law is queen curries and loans private limited versus it is his versus shift versus sheena jose 1993 76 com cases 821 kerala high court now coming to last slide the director is entitled for compensation for wrongful removal this is very important concept if you are removing a director wrongfully without following the procedure stated in 169 without following the cardinal principles stated in the case laws then the director will be eligible for getting compensation from the office fips versus orthodox unit trust limited 1957 so this is uh, this is an error case law copied sorry So this is the case law or uh, Philips uh, Phipps versus Orthodox Union Trust Limited 1957. Now coming to the last case law is very important. It's already been you know dealt in the previous slide, but I am just uh, giving uh, one more uh, stress to that. If no opportunity for make a representation is given to the director, the resolution passed by the shareholders have no effect. That has been already been dealt in the earlier slide. Again, I am saying this is very important. Don't forget that. giving opportunity to the director to give his version to say his version to give his representation is a mandatory provision so these are the case laws uh, uh, which i will just uh, go on second the name of the case laws one is tarlok chandana versus rajkumar kapoor second on hsbc private limited uh, private equity fund versus sri rama multi tech then kedan industries private limited versus mrp kedan then lic versus scott 
then escorts limited versus union of india then queen tourist and loans private limited versus sheena jos case law and our last one this is a, repet a repetition and last one is fips versus orthodox unit trust limited 1957 so students this is the way how to follow we have you have to study the law you have to study the procedures in and you have to support the law with case studies some some few case laws also so this will do this case law thank you for your uh, good feedbacks and please mail to me the topics like you are given the session for removal uh, not only in the company side even securities contract act or even uh, you know survey whatever maybe you you feel relevant stay at home stay safe look after your health thank you